must... must go on. I found it. The temple. The temple of the sun. I found it. It, it has to be here. It, it has to be here. spot as any. Do you think Orko is at Castle Grayskull yet? <laughs> Not if he used his magic. Well, he should be there by now. Let's give it a try. Orko, come in. This is Man-at-Arms calling. Orko, where are you? No wires. Hmm, I could do that. Orko, are you there? Of course I'm here. Orko, answer me. Yikes! Man at arms, how did you make yourself invisible? Calling Orko. Testing, testing. Testing? Oh, silly me, it's Man at arms' new invention, the communicator. I have it here somewhere. Now, where did I put it? Ah. No, that's lunch. Hmm, I'll have to finish reading that sometime. No, not here. No, no, it's here somewhere. Ah. Orko, are you there? Doesn't work, Adam. Orko here. Works fine, man at arms. It's like you were standing next to me. Good, good. Uh, Adam wants to talk to the sorceress. She isn't here yet, but I can hardly wait for her so we can trade a little magic. I have a lot to show her. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Quiet, Granger. Orko, where is the sorceress? As far as I know, Sower is on the way. It should be over the sands of time about right now. Then you should see her soon. If nothing happens to delay her... What could happen? After a lifetime of being poor, I now have power. I can command the wind as my guardian. Wind, arise and blow! I have power over the creatures of the land. of the air are my subjects now. A falcon! Surely a good omen. Come, my pet. You will be the symbol of my kingdom. The kingdom of Nekthu, the mighty wizard! Closely, Adam. If you don't land squarely with both feet, you'll go off balance. Ah, this is the tenth time. I'm worn out. Well, you know, Tila. Keep trying till you get it right. Here goes. <laughs> Nothing to it. Come on. <laughs> Well, I guess that's enough for today. We'll try again tomorrow. And we'll keep trying until you get it right. 
If at first you don't succeed, what's the matter? Shh. Adam, help, help me. Sorceress, where are you? Can you hear me? She's in trouble. Try to regain contact. Man who rules the world should have a proper throne. <laughs> Is that not so, my feathered friend? Sorceress, can you hear me? Prince Adam, I hear you. I am weak and very far away, and I am chained. Where are you? What happened? I was flying over the sands of time. When I felt the presence of magic below, I tried to investigate when I... I was knocked out of the sky. Are you hurt? Just weak. I can't speak anymore. I'm... I'm... Sorceress? Sorceress, come back! Come back! Temple of the sun. I lost her. Do you know where she is? The Sands of Time, a place called the Temple of the Sun. We've got to rescue her. <laughs> we? <laughs> Count me out. I, I, I hate sand. It, it gets in my eyes, in my claws. Sometimes you get it in your mouth. <laughs> I hate that. Sorry, you big furball, but this is something beyond our mere mortal powers. Besides, there's nothing to it. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> A minute. I know you don't enjoy this, old cat, but there is a quest for us. I know, but, but every time I turn into that battle cat, you get me into some kind of trouble. I'll make a deal with you. I'll go with you, but as Cringer. M -m Maybe I can bring some common sense to this quest. All right, my feline friend. But when you change your mind, be sure to let me know. Fat chance. If you two are finished, I suggest it's time to go. Something is missing, my fair falcon. Ah, I know what it is. If I am to be lord over Eternia, I should have an army. An army to conquer the world. Sand. From the very desert that almost destroyed me. <laughs> Rise! Rise, my sand demon! I hereby appoint you my general! The general of the wizard Neptune's army! And now for your army, my general! I think you just imagined you heard a call for help. Now can we go home? Attack track, shouldn't we be coming across this temple soon? The data I have is only superficial. It is not a lot to go on for locating the temple. Maybe you should try to contact the sorceress again. All right. Sorceress, can you hear me? Sorceress. Anything? Nothing. It must be some powerful magic if she can't use her telepathy. Strong magic, or she's... No, she's well, and we will rescue her. My monitors detect a man-made construction ahead. By all indications, this is the Temple of the Sun. My monitors detect a strange wind condition. Warning noted, Track. Be prepared for a quick getaway. Let's look around. Sorceress must be inside the temple. I wonder what the track meant by... E-Man! Look! A dust devil! It's coming right at us, like it was alive! Track, back up! Will do, E-Man! Ranger! Where are you? I'm going to take some of the wind out of this blowhard. If I can just whirl fast enough in the opposite direction the wind is going... It's working! The wind is slowing down, I can feel it! 
Strange wind condition. That was an understatement. Attack track warned us. Next time we'll just ask for more details. I have sand in my eyes, in my ears, and in my mouth. I hate it. I know I'm going to hate myself for this, but I think Battle Cat might be better suited for this kind of work. Well, it's a wise man or cat who admits to being wrong. By the power of Grayskull! Not a moment too soon. Look! Look at the size of that! Watch out for the tail! It's poisonous! We'd better do something about this big bug. Monster is more like it. If you two can keep it busy for a minute, I think I have an idea. I can keep that nasty tail out of our way with my electro rope. Much longer I can hold on. Ah, hey man, what are you doing? Here's a quick science lesson. What is sand composed of? Beats me. Sand is a form of silica, and if you heat silica to its melting point, you get glass. So if I rub this sand fast enough and the friction creates enough heat to melt it, I will get glass. A bug in a box. And it doesn't seem too happy about its new home. He'll dig his way out by tonight. Now, for the reason we came here in the first place, finding the sorceress. We better be careful. That sand tornado and giant scorpion were guarding something, or someone. Ah! Someone who doesn't want us here! Well, if we're not expected, then we'd better knock. And for that, we need a door. But where is it? I'll try the roof. We'll look for a front entrance. The scarab becomes stronger by the moment. Look, great bird, at my latest creation. Behold, this sand demon is as hard as rock. He is invincible. Nothing can defeat him. I will create others like him. Then I will set my army upon the world. Once I am the ruler of Eternia, I will make the falcon the symbol of my kingdom. Will that please you, my... No! I will not permit it! <laughs> So on. A diamond falcon. An even more precious symbol of my power. I am pleased. <laughs> ah, we've gone around the entire structure and there is no door. Then we'll make our own. rest before I conquer the world. He-Man! 
Sorry about the wall, but you seem to be short a few doors. You don't frighten me. My power is beyond even you, E-Man. I am now the mightiest being in the universe. I don't know who you are, but don't... I am Nepfu, the most powerful wizard in the universe. There's no need to shout. Now, if you'll just turn that falcon back to its original state and set it free, my feline friend and I would appreciate it. You dare tell me what to do? Look, Battle Cat, company. It doesn't look like they want to shake hands. They aren't alive. They're just moving sand. You must stop them. Come on, Battle Cat. Let's scatter these walking piles of sand. Here, you can join your buddies. This is just like playing on the beach. Fellas look mighty grim, Battle Cat. Maybe some exercise would cheer them up. This is hard sand. Looks like we have our work cut out for us. Well, wizard. Looks like your army's coming apart. Want to give it another try? I don't need an army. Not when I have the scallop. <laughs> You'll not avoid me for long. He-Man, here. Oh, no! You had something of unlimited power. It could have been used for good, but you misused it for your own selfish reasons, but no more. Good work, man-at-arms. My pleasure. It's too bad the scarab had to be destroyed. <laughs> it's a good thing it was. It, it was evil. No, Cringer. That scarab wasn't evil. It was just used for evil purposes. Besides, I've restored it. Look there. Why, it's Nephthu. Yes. He now tends the flowers in the evergreen forest. He seems very happy. And why shouldn't he be? The evil in him was destroyed with the scarab. But you said you restored it. And so I did. Lovely, isn't it? Yes, it certainly is. Now, that makes me happy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, me too. Today we met Nephthu, a man who wanted to become a leader and became one. But Nephthu used his leadership for his own selfish glory and in the end he got what he deserved. Being a good leader takes a lot of responsibility. But you must also be responsible when you follow a leader. Don't do something wrong or dangerous because someone tells you to. Think before you act. We can't all be leaders, but we can all choose what's right and wrong for ourselves.